Hi there. This is another quick video on one of my projects. And what you see here behind you is a solar hot water heater. Very simple, straightforward, with an industrial grade garden hose inside of it that's heating up a 400 gallon spa. So let me show you up close. As you can see here, what this is, is basically a glass sliding door that I salvaged and you could probably find one on Craigslist pretty easily or ask for one. And it's a, a single pane, you know, real basic. There's no tinting or anything on it because that, would, that wouldn't work as well with the solar heat gain. So you want clear glass. And as you can see, it's about, uh, you know, not even an inch thick. And then what I did was build a box around it, just a wood box. And I put a little bit of insulation on the back here, just to like an R10 or R11, you know, foam board insulation for the winters to keep the heat in as much as possible. These legs are adjustable. It's just one screw in there. So here we're in Southern California, the sun will rise much lower in the winter, so you want a, a steeper angle. Right now it's May, and I've got a steep angle just because I really don't need to heat at this point. What I do is I, I run it off of a, a timer, and it turns on in the winter whenever the sun is fully on this window here, and then turns off you know, before the sun leaves. But in the summer you could do the reverse. If your tub is getting too hot, just run it at night instead of during the day and uh, maybe even leave the window all open or, or cover it because it, it will get hot in there, very hot. And then I use these clamps to uh, make sure there's a tight seal. And so here is the pump and I'll put a link in the description. This has worked really well. It's been working for three, hour, three years straight. And so it's definitely a good pump. It's not too fast, not too slow. You see here the the speed it's a you know it's not fast it's it's basically a water circulation pump for a coolant you know for coolant in a, uh, in a truck or a car so um, but it can be used for this purpose as well and as you can see these are like just half inch garden hose and what I do what I did was I bought industrial industrial grade black garden hose that's looped around. It's a 50 footer. Uh, you're, you may want to use 100 feet or 75 feet. And then I looped it around a few times, mostly up in the upper parts of this box. And I used black uh, high heat resistant spray paint in the box so it's not toxic. And then I also put a little uh, gauze uh, inside of it in a box inside of it as well just to give it some more heat and the gauze is metal it's not plastic uh, and I also spray painted that black just to give it more uh, sun absorption and more heat radiation and then these metal bars I'll put a link to in the description uh, just to uh, hold them up and to keep the the heavy hose because it's filled with water at all times from uh, dropping and that's definitely what you want to do is have the hose filled with water before you turn on the pump because the pump isn't strong enough to pull the water through there. So you want to make sure it's filled first. Uh, and, th and that's easy to do. You just dump the whole hose in your spa and fill it all the way up. No bubbles, no air pockets. And then you um, hook it up. So let me show you real quick also how I open it up real easily and uh, take out the, the window. So I've taken the cl this clamp off here and, and just to show you kind of how it, how it sits on top. See I have a, a little extra piece of wood here that uh, holds the, the window to keep it from dropping all the way down. And then here as you can see this is a you know, this is just a, another square that I put this metal mesh on there and that just gives it an extra boost of heat. 
but you know, as you can see, I can just take off the the window, put it back on. Um, I use some insulation around the hose just to give it keep the heat from uh, dissipating when it uh, travels through here in the winter. And this pump, by the way, is only 22 watts. Here, I'll show you. See, here's the, the timer that goes to the pump. And you can just, you know, adjust the time based on, you know, the winter, summer, fall. And then here, as you can see, I have a kilowatt meter. It's only using up 22 watts. Now compare that. If I were to run, heat up this spa with a with the built-in heater which fortunately is broken so I don't even I don't even use it uh, it's a 6,000 watt or 6 kilowatt spa heater it would take 24 hours to heat this spa with 6,000 watts well that's basically all that my entire more than my this solar array makes so a huge amount of energy cost to heating a spa when you could just do it for free with this solar hot water heater. So this is a, a no-brainer, really. It's free energy, and it'll heat up this spa. I had it in the end of January after a whole cloudless week. Now, we're in the desert. You may not have that much luck. But after a cloudless week, I was still able to keep it up to 99 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very comfortable. So, you know, that's... That's a good deal. So the way the water works here, the circulation, I have the intake here. Just I put the uh, intake of the hose under a couple of bricks. You know, it's not very elegant, but it works. So it pulls water from the bottom of the spa, travels through here, through the solar hot water heater, and then it dumps it in at the top, and it works really well. It circulates. The water and evenly distributes the heat in the spa. So let me know if you have any questions in the uh, comment section.